A medical school will not look at your application and go, why did you do a BSN if you didn't even work as a nurse? They're not gonna ask that question. The Old Pre-Meds Podcast, session number 294. And welcome to the Old Pre-Meds Podcast. My name is Dr. Ryan Gray, your host here every week, where I take your questions directly from the non-traditional pre-med discussion over at premedforums.com. This week, we have a great question about going from a nursing program to a post potentially. Before we jump into that, though, I want to talk about the MCAT Minutes brought to you by Blueprint MCAT. As we're recording this, it is November, which means the new calendar year and new MCAT cycle is just right around the corner. And if you're applying in next cycle, no matter what year this is, if you're in November, if you're applying next cycle, you ideally want to take the MCAT January, March, April, maybe at the latest so that you can get your score back so that you can put the prep and test out of the way so you can focus on your primary application, your secondaries, and everything else that comes with working on your application to medical school. The later that you take the MCAT, the later potentially that your MCAT score comes in and your application is complete. To have your application complete at medical schools, you need to have that MCAT score. So the earlier you take it, the typically the better off you will be. So shoot for January, March, April, with the biggest rule of thumb being take the MCAT when you're ready, which kind of goes in the advice of everything else we were talking about. So that's what I want to talk to you today about the MCAT is really when to take it. That's brought to you by Blueprint MCAT. Thank you so much for sponsoring the old pre-meds podcast. Go check out Blueprint MCAT at blueprintmcat.com and go sign up for a free account and get tons of amazing free resources, including a half-length diagnostic and a free full-length MCAT exam. So let's talk about our student today. She says, uh, I am a BSN student starting my last semester of nursing school next month. My nursing degree will be my second bachelor's degree as I also have a previous degree in psychology. I always considered medical school but pushed the idea away because I didn't think I was the type of person or student who could handle pre-med or med school. However, over the last few years, I have really evolved as a student and I now believe I could do it if I put my mind to it. I've excelled in nursing school, but as I near the end, I find myself feeling a sense of, quote, that's it. I want more out of my career than I feel I'm going to be able to get from nursing. I don't have any pre-med classes besides some very basic chemistry classes that I've not even, uh, and that I'm not even sure would meet the chemistry requirements. So I have a lot of schooling to do before even thinking about the MCAT or applying. My question is this, should I jump straight into a self-paced but not do it yourself? The university has a program that is custom tailored to each person's need post back after I get my RN license. That would mean working, not sure if I would be able to swing full-time, possibly part-time, which may be hard as a new grad nurse and taking at least a class or two each semester. Or do I get some work experience as an RN and then start the post back? This is a very, very common question that comes up from students who are in one program and go, "Uh (laughs) uh-oh, uh-oh, this isn't enough. This is not what I want from my life. And a very common reason here that this student states is, I didn't think I was smart enough. I didn't think I was good enough, right? She, She says, I didn't think I was the type of student who could do it. And now she believes in herself. Now she has that confidence that she can do it. And this happens all the time. And so this specific student is really saying, what's next, right? I've made this decision, I think, that I wanna go to medical school. I know, and it sounds like she's done a lot of good research here, I know that my classes probably aren't going to count as pre-med prereqs or med school prereqs. And so I'm gonna have to go do a post program. I'm gonna have to go take more classes, unfortunately. What's nice is she's going to have a degree and hopefully a certification. She passes the NCLEX that says, hey, like I can work and make some money while doing my my pre-med post back. For you, 
as a student, and my general advice for everyone is do what is possible for you. Right? There are no rules when it comes to this. Right? You're already on your second bachelor's degree, and now you're deciding you want more. You want more classes so you can go to medical school. There's no right path. And so if I were to say everyone who's in this situation, you should go directly into a post program, work as little as you can, and, and take the classes. Like for some people that works, for other people it doesn't. And so what I want you to do is figure out, number one, do you need a little bit of a break from classes? Do you want to get some work experience? Do you think you'll have fun doing that? Knowing that you still want that next thing, at the end of the day, you have to make the decision that is right for you and only for you. You may have some external pressure from a significant other, from family members, from friends that say, like, why are you wasting your time working as a nurse when you want to go to medical school? And the answer is, well, I like working as a nurse. I'm making some money. I'm making some friends. And I'm resting my brain for two seconds before I jump right back in. There's no right answer. Obviously, the longer that you put off starting your post back, the longer it will take for you to take the MCAT, to apply to medical school, to get in to medical school. That process, the whole MCAT application process, is a very long process all by itself. And you are still probably a year or two away from being able to start that process because of all the pre-med uh, classes that you have to take, all the med school prereqs. So, do some reflection, do some kind of introspection and figure out, am I ready to just work part-time and go back into classes? Or do I want to work part-time and take a break or work full-time and take a break? There's no right or wrong answer. And a lot of people are scared that, well, if I go work full-time, I'm going to get used to that full-time salary and I'm going to that maybe just forget about med school because it's gonna to be too hard to then come back and work part-time and start school all over again. And those are very lo logical kind of thoughts that happens. You just kind of get into this momentum of doing it, right? Newton's second law, an object in motion will stay in motion. I think that's the second law. An object in motion will stay in motion until acted upon by an external force. And it's very common for me to talk to students who are just like, well, I was just in my career and it was just easy and I was making money and, and now here I am 15 years later and I'm like, okay, now I'm ready, right? An external force finally said, okay, stop, enough of this. So for you, specifically the one who asked this question, it's up to you. What do you want to do? There's no right or wrong. A medical school will not look at your application and go, why did you do a BSN if you didn't even work as a nurse? They're not going to ask that question. So don't have that fear of like having expectations from a medical school side of it, from an admission side of it. They're not going to expect you to do one thing or another. Do what's right for you, what's in the best interest of you and your family and loved ones and whoever else. And go down this path of becoming a physician if that's ultimately what you want. I hope that was helpful, give you a little motivation to say, you know what? There's no right answer, right? There are no expectations from the medical school. Working as a nurse will give you some great clinical experience, so that's amazing. Go get some shadowing and just go live your life. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for another episode of the Old Premeds podcast. If you have a question you want answered here on the podcast, go to premedforums.com. Find that non-traditional pre-med discussion and ask your question there. Don't forget to go check out Blueprint MCAT as well. Go sign up for all of those free goodies at blueprintmcat.com. Have a great week. We'll see you next time here on the Old Pre-Meds Podcast.